In this video, I'm going to do a road population assignment on page 127, B3.7. The purpose of this project, I'm going to create a new one, Java application, next, tell it where I want it. And call it roaches. I like to make a name like that instead. So here's my name. The purpose of the roach population project is to create a class. So we say new Java class. Call roach population. This class keeps track of the current value or population of a set of roaches. So in order to do that, we need some data. So we have a current population. Here we're going to use an integer because a population doesn't include half a roach or a third of a roach. So only a whole number of roaches are in a population. Okay, so when we create a population, We need to tell it the initial population. We'll just assign that. So our roach population, when we create the population, we tell it an initial amount. And we save that. So the roach population can do three things. One of them is called breed. When the roach population breeds, their population doubles. So to double the population, we just say current population equals current population times two. Okay, this method does not return anything, it modifies our current object data. Another thing we can do with the population is spray it. This one's a little bit different because we can spray it with really st strong stuff or weak stuff. So we need to tell when we're spraying it the value that the percent of kill rate that we get. So we have a double percent value. So if this was 10%, it would be like 0 0.1 is what we would get. If we killed off all of them, it would be one. So, so now we need to kill off that percentage of roaches. So we can have a local variable killed is equal to our current population times the percent that we're going to kill off, like 10%. Okay, so now killed could be 1, 10, 2.5, 3.4. So if we get a quarter of a roach killed, that means that whole roach was killed. So there's a mathematical formula here called ceiling that takes the closest value greater than the one that we have. Okay. This returns a double, so we'll have to convert it. So the ceiling if we had 1.1, would give us 2. If we had 1.0, it would give us 1. Okay, I need to convert that back into an int value. So I cast it from the double that I get from the ceiling and make it an int. So 
Another way we could do that is if we didn't care about the ceiling part, we could just say, give us the nth value of killed. Okay. In this case, if we had 1.1, we would end up with 1. If it was 1.95, it ends up with 1. So the number of rows that's killed is an integer. We can take that off of our current population. Okay, again, this method doesn't return anything. It just modifies our data. So our last thing that this class, row to population, can do is give us back the current population. And the book calls that get roaches. Which is fine. That just returns our current population. So that completes this class. Okay. Subtracts a roach population given an initial value. Now we want to use it, so we have our testing program over here. So make a population. And we want an initial of 10 roaches. Okay, so then we're supposed to do the following. Start with 10 roaches, breed it, spray it. So it's at 10% and then print the roach count. We repeat it three more times, so that's four times total. So we say population dot breed. Population.spray, which is 0 0.1. Population. Get roaches will give us the number, so we can print that. Just want to do this three more times. So just gonna put it in there three more times. There's the second iteration, third and our fourth one. When we start out after the first iteration, when we breed, we get a double of 10, which gives us 20 minus 10%. Okay, it gives us 18. We double 18 to get 36 minus 10%. Double 33 gives us 66 minus 10% is 60. And then 120 minus the 10%. Okay. If you wanted, you could calculate by hand what these should be and put them in here. So this would say expected of 18 and so on. Then as long as these match, you know that your roach population class is actually working correctly. Now notice if we want, we could have two different populations and compare what happens with different spraying methods and so on. Okay, so that's the end of that one.